Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of the SMB3 Warpless Seminar. Today we are going to be working on 3-9, and this is the hardest level in the world, so get ready to be blown away. Like always, let's not waste any time because we have a lot of work to do, so let's jump right in. This level starts off in a weird starting point. You're on top of a blue platform, but luckily for the speedrun we don't have to worry about that. So what you do first is you run off of the blue platform, then you run off of the pink platform, and there's going to be this one line on the bush. Whenever you reach that line, you're going to want to do a full big jump. And just as you brush up against the last line, you're going to want to shoot a fireball and hit the Koopa. And once you hit the Koopa, the big jump's going to allow you to go over the three vertical blocks. And whenever you land, you're going to be able to run right under the pipe. If you don't do this correctly, if you hit the pipe or if you stomp and land on the blocks and then hit the pipe, you will lose all of your momentum and sometimes you can actually take damage. That will ruin your run. But if you hit the pipe, you'll lose your momentum and you'll have to rebuild slowly again. Once you land and run under the pipe, you're going to want to just run forward and build P-Speed. You're probably going to build your P-Speed in between the two bushes. So there's three bushes, a space, and one bush. In between all the bushes, you're probably going to build P-Speed. Luckily, the section that we're in, wherever you jump doesn't matter. You can actually jump on top of the bullet bill launcher and run right off and keep P-Speed. Or you can jump and bonk your head and come down. This next part is actually the easiest part of the level. But once you pass that first bullet bill launcher, you're already going to have your P-Speed build. So whenever you reach the first bomb, you're going to want to do a full big jump and it's going to land you on the white platform. Now whenever you land on the white platform, all you have to do is neutral off of it, which means just hold forward and run, and you'll drop down to the wooden platform. You land on the wooden platform, you keep running straight, you keep running straight. Whenever you approach your second bomb, you're just going to want to do a small slash medium jump up just up to the next section where the coin blocks are. And as you run across the coin blocks, here's the tricky part. You're going to want to do a jump into the bomb. And the interesting thing about this is that bombs have fixed jumps. So whenever you jump and land either on a bomb or side jump off of a bomb, it doesn't matter how much you hold the A button, it will never give you Mario's maximum jump. Bombs only give you, it's kind of like a small slash medium jump. There's strategies where you can jump from far away and land on the bomb and pretty much neutral or hold jump off to position correctly, but this positioning is extremely crucial because after you land on the bomb, you need to land in between the next two bombs below the three coins. When you land there, you only have a small amount of distance to run before you do a medium jump to the right side of the music note. If you land on the left side of the music notes and do a full big jump, you won't make the next jump. So you have to land on the right side. And if you land on the music notes, you also can't make the jump and you'll lose your P-Speed. Very, very crucial jump in this little area. It's very complicated. This jump is very frustrating. These jumps literally ruin runs. As soon as you land, you're going to want to do a full big jump. Now you can lay off the full big jump once you know you've made the jump. You can land on the brown block. You can neutral off of it. If you neutral off of it, as soon as you land, you can do the full big jump. You will lose P-Speed, that's okay. You'll keep the momentum and you shoot the top turtle. It's going to be a little hard because you're off screen. It, this is something that you're going to have to feel out. I can't necessarily show or tell you exactly how it is. You don't have to shoot him. You can do a full big jump and just jump over him. Once you get over him, you grab the second block, the block on the right side, and that will allow you to just simply fall through and you can drop right into the pipe. Once you come out of the pipe, you're going to want to hold right and B and pretty much neutral. Like you keep holding right and you keep holding B, but you don't swim at all. As soon as you drop right into the fish, you can swim all the way to the top. And as you approach the second fish, you can shoot him, drop your swim just a little bit, and then double tap or triple tap, depending on your distance, and you can go up into the pipe. Once you go up into that pipe, you do your normal small jump P speed, you hit the card, and then you're done. Now this level is very, very hard in the center. What we call that section is the H jump. Now that is the most dangerous section in the entire level. Like always, let's see what it's like all put together.
Well, thanks for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed, and more importantly, I hope you guys learned something. Next episode is going to be episode 22, and it's going to feature the end of the world. It's going to be the last episode of this world, and it's going to feature the fire kill on Wendy. So that should be a little exciting. Thanks a lot for watching, guys. See ya.